This week marks 25 years since Madison saw the biggest fire the current chief can remember in his decades with the department. When the central storage building caught fire back in 1991, it burned tons of butter and other food products, costing millions in damage to that company and even forcing the evacuation of 3,000 residents in the area. But today, the fire chief says his force is all the better because of it. Leigh Lynchide has that story. Two and a half decades later, firefighters still have a clear memory of the smoke and flames that were coming from central storage. And that's a memory they don't want to forget. 25 years ago today, I actually enjoyed the sunrise from one of the buildings that wasn't burning. Madison skies were smokier then, the morning after the biggest fire chief Stephen Davis can remember in his decades here. I also experienced um, butter in places I probably should not have had butter. Central storage on the city's east side was the site where a massive fire spread through buildings housing butter and other food products. The result was a mess, to say the least. As the building collapsed, Towards Cottage Grove Road, the amount of water that had been already applied created this river of water and butter and cranberries and ham and, um, you know, just about anything food related. 3,000 people were evacuated as a precaution and the fire raged for more than a week, posing an obstacle this department had never dealt with before. Refueling the fire engines that sat here and pumped water for eight straight days that we weren't really prepared for. So, you know, we had people that actually carried five gallon pails of diesel to refuel the, the engines. This one instance, though, has helped shape department policy in the decades since. At the time in 1991, we weren't necessarily prepared for such a large event, whereas we are today. We've got bigger and better equipment. The department also created an emergency operations center to help with fires of this magnitude. And it's better prepared to communicate with the public when there's a threat to safety. And 25 years later, even firefighters who weren't alongside Chief Davis under that smoky Madison sky have learned about it and learned from it. We're so much better prepared because we can pass those experiences along. Central Storage, for its part, said it clearly remembers the butter fire 25 years ago, but didn't want to relive it on camera. In Madison, I'm Leah Lynchide for WISC News 3. Can't really blame them for not wanting to yeah. relive it. Just to give you an idea of how much of a mess that Eastside neighborhood became that week in 1991, the fire chief even 25 years later, Fire Station 5 just down the road from Central Storage still sometimes smells like old butter. A lot of people remember it, including uh, Gary Canalti, who was, I was just in his here. first just year here. on the job back yeah. then. But I remember the smoke, and I see it all the time when I go, because I bowl at Dream Lanes mm -hmm. on Friday mornings and go, have to go right past it. It was something else. It was, Amazing. yeah.